from the commission as regards the verdict of the Supreme Court uh, today on the presidential election petitions. The commission appreciates Kenyans for peacefully exercising their democratic right to vote on the 9th of August in accordance with Article 38 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. In fulfillment of the Constitution, the Commission put in place a robust and transparent election in infrastructure to ensure that the votes cast were counted, electronically transmitted, verified, tallied, announced and declared in line with Articles 81 and 86 of the Constitution. The general election was conducted by about 1,000 dedicated permanent employees of the Commission, assisted by over 400,000 temporary staff countrywide. The Commission is grateful to this staff for a job well done. Additionally, the Commission recognizes the support by stakeholders, including the judiciary, the National Police Service, and service providers who participated in the electoral process. The Commission gives special recognition to development partners who provided support that breached financial gaps in the Commission's budget. In the course of discharging our constitutional duty, the Commission and its staff endured harassment, intimidation, abduction, arrests, and some lost their lives. It's tragic that Mr. Daniel Mushoka, a returning officer for Embakasi East constituency, was abducted and tortured to death in the line of duty. In addition, Mr. Geoffrey Kitobu, a returning officer for Kishugu constituency, died in what could be election-related stress upon completion of elections in his constituency.